It's been a while. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Join the circle. I, I don't think we're in a circle, but <laughs> same thing. Got a super itchy nose today. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Did you miss me? Of course you did. Who didn't? No one did. So I'm here today because this video I'm very, very excited about. It is devourant. This is it. It's devourant. Devourant. Yeah. So I'm going to call it devourant. But I think it's pronounced devourant. Devourant technique. Let me tell you. Take a seat, my friend. It is a technique that eats away fibres of the fabric. I know that sounds scary and what is not meant to happen with textiles, but trust me, it's planned. Okay, it's okay. So I used a velvet fabric. This is the velvet fabric and it looks pretty normal. It looks like a normal velvet. Oh, it's not soft. Ooh, ooh. So the front of it, the velvet pile, is made from natural fibres and then the back of it, um, it's kind of like a, a mesh. Yeah, I guess you call it a mesh. And it's made of synthetic fabric and fibres. So that means that when you apply devorant paste, it burns away the natural fibres. So you're left with the synthetic mesh on the back. Devorant paste. It eats away the natural fibres where you've put the devorant paste. So it creates kind of like a burnout sort of effect. So you've got like mesh in some places and then like the pile of velvet in other places and oh, excited. So the first time that I came across this was in a brand that I follow. It is called Vide Noir. The vibe. I'll put it here so that you can read it. I'm just going to call it Vide Noir. Who knows how it's pronounced. But Vide Noir is a gothic vampiric sort of lingerie brand. And I love their stuff. Been following them for years. So I came across it there and I was like, oh, I want to do that. That looks so fun. That was basically my mentality for anything. When I find something, I'm like, how do they do that? I want to do that. That looks like so much fun. You know, obviously. I wanted to give it a go and when I found out it was called Devorant, that was it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna order myself a kit and be a little scientist and do a little Devorant sample. Woo! So for those curious cats among you, this <laughs> this is Devorant paste. So I keep it in this little jar. I think it loses its natural fibre eating abilities gradually. And this has been in here for quite some time now. This is what Devorant paste looks like. Yeah, I know. Grim. It smells nice because it's in like a little conditioner bottle. Yeah, so that- Oh! I just got it all over me. Oh no. Is it gonna eat my fibres? Please don't eat me. I really should be more careful with this stuff. We will see if my finger gets eaten throughout this video. But- Oh no, now I've spread it to all my hands. I did a sample using my little dancing dead skeletons. So it sounds a lot scarier than it is and a lot more morbid than it is. I did this cute little print of loads of little skeletons dancing. You know, my hands are starting to be itchy now and I don't know whether that's psychological. Moving on. These are the little skeletons that I had. So one has actually lost his head. It's over here. I wanted the velvet to be the skeleton. So I wanted that as like a raised velvet shebang and then I wanted the back to be mesh so I wanted little like velvet dancing skeletons like all over the fabric you know what I mean of course you do let's just put these happy little fellas back in here do, do, do. okay so I then put this skeleton on the back of the velvet fabric and then I put like the devour and paste around it because I wanted the skeleton <laughs> speech alexa i want the skeleton to be the raised velvet pile so <laughs> i did a sample which is what this video is but if you know me at all you know that i cannot wait till the end of the video because i have no no patience um so i did a sample <laughs> this is my devourant sample i don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this but you can see like the little skeleton up here. Probably doesn't help that my nails are black. 
but you can see the little skeleton here. This being said, this is meant to be a skeleton too. So I think it only works if you're very meticulous with it. So I would have to cut out a skeleton for each one. <laughs> if I do want to pursue this, I'm going to have to figure out a better way to do it. <laughs> but the reason I did the sample was because it is something that I'm wanting to incorporate into future <laughs> Today's video is Deborah and being a little chemist. Ooh, my hands stuck together. I think this is how I die. I may not see you in any of the videos. Or I may not have hands in the next video. Anyway, this video is me being a little chemist and you get to see me mixing it and there's loads of different loads of different chemicals and compounds in it. And it's really interesting from a chemistry side of things. It is really interesting to see how that is made and how fabric and textile people use it. I don't even know how they came up with this. They came up with a chemical compound that's like, oh yeah, it's natural fibers. Textiles people were like, we'll take that. That just blows my mind. Whoever came up with this, brilliant. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.